Hi guys, so uh, here is a quick tutorial on Google Maps and Visual Force. So as you can see, uh, I'm logged in to my Salesforce.org and uh, this is a Visual Force page. So the way to use the Google API is uh, you have to first uh, get the API so that uh, that you will get over here Google Maps API. So uh, and then you log in and uh, if you do not have a gmail or google account so of course everyone has that so i hope you would also have that so you log in create the api and then go to uh, one next step is uh, you need to remember console uh, there is a google uh, developer console so in that you have to enable the api for javascript as well the point is api this uh, once you generate the API it can be used in JavaScript as well as Apex when you want to make the rest calls in Apex to uh, do a zip code validation or what have you but when you want to render that so the same Google Maps API would be used but it has to be explicitly enabled for JavaScript only then it this code will work I will be sharing this uh, code with you uh, probably gist URL and then you can play around so here as you can see I am providing my zip code and this is a place where I used to stay uh, it's in Kanchipuram near to Chennai so before I moved to Hyderabad I used to stay there so I remember the zip code used to be this so what happens is when you want to draw a pin like you know this green that uh, marker over there so that's a pin so you can have multiple latitude and longitude a location is specified by its latitude and longitude so under a zip code means it's a it's covering a huge area basically so under that there could be multiple locations that's how we get to know the distance between two objects and uh, while we are driving also so the traffic congestion and those stuff so we need uh, latitude longitude and those stuff so in order to draw the marker we need them but as we have a zip code so we can get an approximation that uh, what the latitude and longitude could be so what I ended up doing is uh, first we have to call the geocode method that also comes out of the JavaScript API and then pass the zip code and here's the callback so this would return an array so take the first element and get its location and then draw it now I have picked the green color uh, marker over there but you can have uh, any other color also red yellow or stuff like that so uh, this is a like uh, I said it's a quick tutorial and uh, I will share this code so play around with this code and probably in your projects also sometimes you know there are uh, some requirements to deal with the map so you can make use of this so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, and have a good day and if you find this video interesting put a thumbs up and provide your feedback and do not forget to subscribe so that you know I will keep making these videos and it motivates me as well and I will share this video in the Salesforce developer group the Facebook group so that um, uh, everyone can uh, reach uh, it can reach to everyone and uh, guys one more thing uh, if you have a particular uh, topic in mind that uh, you would want uh, to uh, you know I can make a video on that or something then do let me know if I receive a minimum of uh, five uh, comments on a request for a particular topic I will make that video so that uh, you know uh, when people have questions so usually those would be common questions and by making one video it can reach out to hundreds of people and it will help them so uh, again uh, I thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye